This is Jupiter Today for the 10th of February, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant four, heading east, but going to be moving behind Jupiter from Earth's point of view. This blue line is the direction towards Earth, and this gray line is the direction towards the Sun. We're just past opposition, so this phase angle here is very, very small. Europa starts today in quadrant one, also heading east, but getting near its eastern elongation. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant three, heading west, and Callisto also spends all day in quadrant three, heading west. At six hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant one, heading east. Europa is in quadrant two, heading west. At 12 hours UTC, EO has just passed its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant three, heading west. By 18 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant two, heading west. At 1823 UTC, Europa goes through an apogee, and that's the furthest distance it'll be from Jupiter in its orbit. And that distance is 677,187.8 kilometers. And then at 1847 UTC, EO goes through a perigee, and that's at a distance of 420,017.2 kilometers. And by zero hours UTC tomorrow, EO has successfully transited Jupiter and is now in quadrant three, heading west. Europa is still in quadrant two, heading west, but coming up on its own transit. There are eight Jupiter satellite events today. At four minutes after zero hours UTC, EO moves into the shadow of Jupiter. At 1.13, Callisto ends its transit of Jupiter. At 2.01, the shadow of Callisto egresses. At 2.27 UTC, EO reappears from behind Jupiter. And then towards the end of the day, 21.14 UTC, EO begins its transit of Jupiter. At 21.20, the shadow of EO ingresses. And then at 23.31, the transit of EO across Jupiter ends. And at 23.38, the shadow of EO egresses. There are no satellite mutual events today, so we'll move right on to the orbital ribbons for today. So these are the same orbits that you just saw in the previous graphic, and it's all I've done is just connect the same times together, and that makes a interesting pattern that, to me at least, looks like a twisted ribbon. And so this is the connection between Eo and Europa, and Eo and Ganymede, and Eo and Callisto, and then Europa and Ganymede. Nice twist there. And Europa and Callisto. And finally Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine them all into one and colorize them a little bit. And I get that. All right, 24 hours of Jupiter sky. Standing on the equator of Jupiter, just above the clouds, so we can see all the stars at a longitude of zero degrees. And we watch the sky sped up 
a little bit over the next 24 hours just to see all of the activity and there always is something happening in the Jupiter sky with all those moons. Looks like Eo is going to pass in front of Europa from Jupiter's point of view. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 547 and the second at 1543 UTC. There were no new images and no new radio data and no new papers today. The position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere at zero hours UTC is a right ascension of nine hours, 18 minutes, 57.8 seconds and a declination of positive 16 degrees, 39 minutes, 57.2 seconds. The angular separation of Jupiter from the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 176.169 degrees, and that's 1.093 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle, which is the angle between Earth and the Sun, as seen from Jupiter, is 0.71 degrees today and that's 0 0.202 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is now increasing as Earth continues in its faster orbit around the Sun and is now appearing to be moving away from Jupiter. Today the distance is 650,506,839 kilometers and that's 151,400 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a relative velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 6,308.33 kilometers per hour. And that's 1,964.45 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun today is 797,839,951 kilometers and that's 46,174 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday and that gives a relative velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,923.92 kilometers per hour and that's 5.71 kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday the central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 258.22 degrees, CM2, 248.5 degrees, CM3, 157.9 degrees. So please subscribe, and thank you to those who are subscribing. Always like to hear your comments and questions and any suggestions you have. I'm always trying to improve this podcast to give a different perspective on a very dynamic system so you can send your questions and comments and any images you take to the email shown and until tomorrow I bid you peace